All right, here it is. Now I've got uh, I gotta get some MDX and put on the outside of this. I don't like these screws. They won't countersink for some reason. It just like they don't grab enough or whatever. And they're inch and a half or inch and a quarter. And this plywood's only uh, seven sixteenths or half, maybe it's half inch. So it should have plenty enough room to grab, but it, they're not. So I'm gonna have to take these out and get some longer ones or whatever. Or just go to drywall uh, drywall screws. I like them better anyways. And they're a lot cheaper. Because this is going to be covered anyways. But the screws won't go out. You know, some of them go in and some of them don't. So I take them out. The ones that didn't, uh, you know, sink in, I'm going to take out and replace with drywall screws. <coughs> so. But she's solid. Um... That up there isn't because it isn't mounted to anything yet, but the camper itself is solid. So when I get the top taken off and then spun around and mounted, it'll be a lot more solid than what it is. But it, the walls don't shake. Um, see, it is solid. But I've only got the walls three quarters of the way covered or 90%. I got to go up another 10 inches. I think that's what that is and run some strips. But it's solid. And the door. What can I say? It's a camper door. That's all I'm using. I got to frame that in. Get it all squared up again. So frame it all in. But here's the inside. Now this right here, I haven't studied these in yet because I don't know what I'm going to do for window sizes yet. So there is going to be a window on this side and right here. That's going to be a serving window. This is going to be a serving window. Up front right here, there's going to be, it's going to be framed in to fit an air conditioner. Because basically this is just going to be storage back here for uh I think the mini freezer and I don't know something else but right here on this side is going to be um, sinks there's going to be three sinks plus a, a hand sink and they'll probably start right about at the wheel well right here and run three sinks and then back here will be a four sink but here's my six gallon water tank and that's going to be the 10 gallon uh gray water tank so i haven't got those situated yet where i want them but they will be i got to clean up those wheel wells and uh re seal them i don't know who done that that's got to be resealed i'd actually like to buy some new ones if i could find them but i don't think i can find those so And before anything gets done, uh, there will be a new floor put in here, a uh, plywood floor, and then I will put flooring in and then work the walls. The ceiling is coming out. You're going to have new ceilings put in, new lights. It's going to have uh, probably two uh, four footers put in here, fluorescent lights, so it'll get up plenty of light in here. But I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with and, you know, my ability, my hands and stuff aren't working right, so that's the worst of it. No. But I do have to put one screw in here. You see that? I'm going to put a screw in there and get that done. I had them to where they were screwed in, but I had to take them back out for some reason. I can't remember what for, but I had to take one of them out at least. So I'm going to have to put that back in. This is Iron Dog 63 saying, if you are a subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And as always, God bless and have a great day. Um, that black stuff on the plywood, that's charcoal dust or whatever, coal dust. 
I did sweep them off. I did blow them dry. Um, ain't nothing to worry about. They're going to get painted over on the outside and probably painted over on the inside just to make sure uh, there's no dust. But this is going to be, you know, walled on the inside too, so...